Over the past half century, the topic of diversity has become more prominent in American life and public discourse. Nowhere is this more clear than on college campuses. Student leaders are trained to identify, navigate, and support issues that arise due to racial and ethnic diversity, class diversity, and diverse gender and sexual identities. We have a radar screen for these different dimensions of identity so that we can better notice and pay attention to them. And interfaith leaders do the same thing for religious diversity. As interfaith leaders, we need to develop several areas of knowledge to help us to address concerns in our communities, to foster pluralism, and to bring people together for the common good. Building up this knowledge takes time and effort. It can seem overwhelming, but keep in mind, it's a step-by-step -step process. We build up this knowledge through relationships, through social action, and through courses like this one. Before we dive into the primary knowledge base of interfaith leadership, Let's spend some time exploring ways to develop your own awareness of religious diversity and religious issues in your own community. Having this awareness will help you put your vision, knowledge, and skills into practice. The first step is to become aware of the religious diversity around you in the spaces you normally inhabit. This could be your school, sports team, workplace, really anywhere. Recognizing religious diversity in these spaces will allow you to better anticipate and support the needs of friends, neighbors, and others around you. For example, let's say you are the principal of a religiously diverse school. How might the month of Ramadan affect Muslim students and teachers? Being aware of the diversity in your school will help you to note the obvious, that Muslims who are fasting might want to go somewhere other than the cafeteria for lunch and also subtler implications, such as that Ramadan might bring unwanted attention to Muslim students who are just trying to go about their day. Anticipating issues like these allows you to take time to come up with alternative ways to address and support the needs of your Muslim students and colleagues long before Ramadan begins. You also want to pay attention to the religious relevance of current events. What new conversations and conflicts might the latest Supreme Court ruling bring up for my conservative Jewish colleagues? How might certain international tensions affect my Orthodox Christian friends? Keeping in touch with current events and understanding the stakes that certain religious groups may have in their outcomes will help you prepare for any resulting effects on your community. In the United States, three long-term trends are currently getting quite a bit of attention. The first is increasing diversity, which we have already discussed in a previous video. The second is disaffiliation, most notable in the increasing number of people who are choosing to leave their home religious communities for a variety of reasons. This is one cause of a rise in the number of people who retain their religious identity without a community, the number of people who identify as spiritual but not religious, and the number of people who check none for the religious affiliation. The third trend is division, which occurs when a religious community splits into multiple sections, creating new communities distinct from one another along the lines of disagreement. There are many questions that these trends ought to raise for interfaith leaders. What new interfaith opportunities and challenges might emerge from the growing diversity of the United States? How does this trend toward disaffiliation affect how we think about social capital? Being knowledgeable about current trends will help you understand the needs and anxieties of particular religious communities and may offer insight into some of the dynamics between people around you. As you become increasingly aware of the religious diversity around you, the religious implications of current events, and some of the religious trends in the United States, you will also start to find ways to utilize that awareness to your advantage as a leader. Developing an interfaith-specific knowledge base will help you do that successfully. You will build three categories of knowledge throughout the remainder of this course. First, you will begin to develop an appreciative knowledge of other religious traditions. Second, you will learn about the vibrant history of interfaith cooperation in the United States. And third, you will begin to develop your own ethic or theology of interfaith cooperation and hear the ethics and theologies of others. We will take each of these in turn, starting with appreciative knowledge. Appreciative knowledge might include the stories, heroes, scripture, and art from another tradition that you admire. In addition, your knowledge base should include both your own ethic of theology of interfaith cooperation and a working knowledge of the history of interfaith cooperation, which will be covered in the next two lessons. If you can develop an awareness of different components of religious diversity, you will be better equipped to address rising issues and even prepare suggestions and solutions ahead of time. Spend some time this week taking note of the different aspects of religious diversity in your community. Pay attention to the current events that may impact different religious communities. Read up on some of the long-term trends impacting religious life and practice in the United States. 
And finally, continue to build your foundation of appreciative knowledge. Putting these together, you will be well on your way to developing your own radar of religious diversity. The only way to learn how to use it, though, is to practice. So pay attention and think about how this newfound knowledge and awareness impacts your choices and engagements with others. Once you start to exercise these critical thinking muscles, it will become easier and more natural to respect and assess these different aspects of diversity in everyday life.